All right, excuse the tremors behind me, but um, just want to show the new Quark Sport intake for the Turbo 3. Um, I know I said I was supposed to be doing the review on the springs first, but I'm doing this first. Um, install is pretty easy, should only take like 20 minutes or so, if that. Uh, all you do is take the two screws off and remove the mass airflow off the OEM uh, intake. You pull that out, you undo, or you remove these two bolts. Sorry, my other hand is holding up the hood. Uh, remove that one and that one uh, because it has like ducting to suck in cold air. And then you remove the clamp to take it off the turbo inlet. The whole thing pulls out, there's the two, these two grommets right here. You just pull up on them, they come out. You actually remove those off of the OEM intake and put them onto this. Um, from there, you just basically put it all together for this. You install this bracket using the bolts, you install the mass airflow sensor using the bolts that they give, and you just kind of throw it on there. All right, so I will leave the windows up this whole time just because I don't want to ruin the audio, but it is louder in person. The cold start is a little bit different. It's not too different, but... Yeah, so as you can see at the beginning, the RPMs kind of fluctuate a little bit. But other than that, under idle or if you're just cruising, you don't really hear a difference at all. Um, so once you get into boost or if you get on it and then let off, that's when you'll start to hear it. So as I let it warm up here, you'll see if you light on the gas. Not really getting into boost. It makes no, no extra noise. So... It doesn't get annoying on the highway or anything like that. Um, it cruises just fine. Like I said, it makes no additional noise until you tip into the throttle. Then you can hear it spool up the turbo. If you let off, you can hear the wastegate. But other than that, if I had the radio on, you wouldn't notice it at all. Um, I think it's the perfect volume where it's not too annoying, but at the same time, when you want the sound, it's there. Um, there are a the few other options that should be coming out over the next few months. Um, Burger Tuning has one that they're working on. AEM has one that they've been working on. It should be ready by now, but I'm not sure what's taking so long for them to release it. Um, other than that, issues I've had with the, of course, the JB4 MAF connection is kind of janky at the moment, so most people are having issues with it, even on the stock uh, intake, but once I got it cut down a little bit more and uh, forced it in, I even put a zip tie on it to make sure it doesn't come loose. Um, after that, I haven't had a single issue. It hasn't thrown a check engine light or anything. Um, what else? Um, 
I do prefer that the factory system is a cold air intake, whereas this one is a short ram intake, so the filter is just sitting in the hot engine bay. But other than that, I've been monitoring my IATs. They haven't been too different from stock. I feel like this one gets a little bit warmer quicker, especially if I'm sitting in traffic. But once you start driving, I feel like it cools off a little bit faster. So I don't feel a difference in power. It doesn't feel any faster or slower. It doesn't feel like the turbo spools up any faster. I don't care about that, though. I, I only put this on for the noise, and it does that. It definitely, definitely makes noise. I would recommend that you get it. But if you can hold out, there may be some other options coming out that you may or may not prefer. So if you're looking for something right now, this is not a bad choice, but um, I may end up switching it out depending on what the other systems look like when they come out.